So can you tell us something about your book, please, Michelle? Okay, well, my book, uh, Leaving for the Front, is based on the reenactment parade in Masterton last year. Uh, 100 soldiers left at Masterton uh, for the front for World War One, And the town reenacted the parade. And we were in the parade and we dressed up for the day. And it was a very special day for us. And we decided that, um, well, I decided that I wanted to make it into a book. And that's the premise for it. But it's told in Christopher's voice and Christopher's eyes and making it accessible for children and looking at how they look at these events and look at war and their emotional understanding of it. So how old is Christopher, your son? Okay, well he's seven now, but at the time of the parade he was six. Um, yeah. And as far as you're concerned, why did you want to make it into a book? Uh, I've always wanted to write and illustrate and with the dream of being published and that's been in the back of my mind but this particular story um, it just needed to be told and it's something that stayed with me and there was a lot of interest in it and I think it was seeing the story from outside of my own from a different perspective and, and lots of different perspectives and, and it's also a day that needed to be remembered in its own right um, and with the significance of Anzac Day this year, been 100 years since the Gallipoli landing, um, it felt was the right time to bring this book to the market. So children, not just looking at animals in war, but looking at how war affects people today, how we remember Anzac Day, and how we see it through the eyes of the young. Hmm. One of the things that has uh, interested me is that uh, the community seems to have taken hold of this book or it's been touched by it. Mm. Can you tell me something about that please? Um, yes, well, it's actually, I think it always started that way, even from before the book, even when we got dressed up, uh, the community seemed to embrace our story. Just, for the, the, just from us looking at the history of our house and taking an interest and wanting to be involved, even though we didn't organise the day, um, it just it, that's the way it started and it always seemed to be that people were interested in in the story and to get to a, to a book well th there was so much hard work that went into the day and people remembered that um, and I think you know they didn't really want it just to end and be forgotten and here's a way that it's remembered now and I think even before people knew they were in the book they seemed to have embraced the idea so I'm really looking forward to hearing back once they realise they are in it, they make it more special so it's personal, but it also links them and appoints them to what part they had. Mm. Who do you want to read this book? Um, I think, well, it shouldn't, it's not just a children's book. Um, and I wouldn't even give an age limit because there are so many layers to it and the layers are told through the art. Young children can read it, kindergarten children can, we can read to. Uh, young primary school children can be read to, older children can read it themselves. But it's a story for parents and grandparents to share, uh, whether it's Anzac Day, whether you have a connection to the town, whether you like New Zealand stories, uh, something about home. And it's a, it's a community story. So I think it's a story that reaches a lot of people.